The Tigers face a tough three and one White House Blue Devils team tonight at Nissan Stadium, and we get set to bring it to you. Mike Keith is standing by now with the White House head coach, Ryan Hamilton, right here on Tigers Radio. Ryan Hamilton is the head coach at White House, guy who played at White House, coached at White House for a long time, but you're originally from East Nashville. For you to be back at your part of the world playing in the NFL stadium, I know it's going to be special for the boys, but I just wonder, have you stopped to consider it on your own behalf for just a second? Yeah, our kids, man, they get on me all the time about, you know, being serious and being on schedule and things like that. And no, I really haven't had time to sit back and say, man, you know, it's coming where you come from and going through all the stages in life and everything that we went through as a team last year to what they're going through this year, man, it's it's becoming more and more like a surreal moment for all of us. And, you know, don't don't get us wrong. We came down here to play a football game, but, you know, it, it's awesome to be able to stop, take a breath, look around and be appreciative of everything that, that you've been blessed with, man. That, that's exactly what it is. And you like this football team led by 24 seniors. Absolutely. You know, I, every team's different, man. I love every team, love everything about our school and administration. But, uh, you know, this team, we talk to them all the time. Fine-tune your details, focus on us, you know, make sure we play the next play, get back to your teammate, play for the guy beside you. And this team is really starting to buy into that and, you know, hopefully good things to come for it. Nice win over Portland last week in a wild 55-40 to 40 game. What have you focused on in this short week getting ready for Waverly? As you know, we try to keep everything in the same routine. You know, we moved our practice to Sunday, so we still get our four days to prepare. Uh, we watched film on Portland to correct the mistakes uh, that we made in that game, and, you know, we focused on things that, you know, things that just can't happen to us, and hopefully we're just a little bit better this week than we were last week. What impresses you about Waverly? Hey, Waverly is a well-coached football team. Coach Bolden does a, a phenomenal job with his kids. Uh, you know, they're playing for something special right here. You know, we're so appreciative for the opportunity to get to play here, and, you know, they're going through some things right now. But uh, they keep playing. They're well coached. Their quarterback's phenomenal athlete. They're big uh, linebacker and, and the offensive line are big guys. You know, we got to make sure we are disciplined, do what we're supposed to do. What do the Blue Devils have to do to win this game tonight? Hey, man, we just you know, don't don't beat yourself. Make sure we take care of the football. You know, don't try to eliminate negative plays, eliminate explosive plays for the other team. And, you know, just just play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And you know, don't get caught up in everything else. Make sure we, we came down here. Let's do our fundamentals and let's let's try to get a win. Ryan Hamilton, thanks for the time. Good luck to White House tonight. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. All right, let's go back to booth seven. Standing by, Rhett Bryan. Let's go to Amy Wells on the sidelines with the victorious coach from White House, Ryan Hamilton. Coach, how proud of you of, of your team tonight and how they were able to show up on such a big stage? So proud of our guys, man. You know, we talked about it. When it came out last week, we were playing a, a big rival in our town and everything. So we told them and they said that's the end of it. And they've done a phenomenal job of kind of keeping it low key around the locker room, around the place. And then, you know, we get down here and it kind of becomes a real thing. You get that awe moment and everybody gets excited, but our kids focus back in. Uh, we settled back in, man, and our kids just played. And we're so proud of them to keep playing for four quarters. You had a lot of standouts today, a lot of guys making big plays. Is that indicative of how your season's going? It is. Uh, you know, we have uh, Raynan's our guy or whatever, and then each week somebody steps up. You know, Reese Magsby gets a big play. Bryson finds one. Our special teams will make plays here and there. Our defense steps up at certain times. Uh, you know, the ball bounces funny, and sometimes it bounces our way. We're thankful for it. Very different atmosphere for your players tonight. Rising to this challenge, being on this stage, how was that experience? I don't think it really hit everybody until we actually maybe walked out on the field in pregame and then kind of making sure everything's where it needs to be and, and we're on schedule for meetings and stuff. And then, you know, everybody kind of gets in awe and you don't know really what to think. So it, it is a big shock right there. But, you know, so proud of our kids for focusing back in and playing together and playing for each other. More work to do? Absolutely. Have a ton of work, uh, mistakes to correct, and we focus on us and we're just going to keep doing that. Hopefully be a little bit better every time we play. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's Ryan Hamilton, head coach of the White House Blue Devils, victorious tonight, 36-34 to over Waverly as you listen to Tigers Radio's locker room report.